What's up guys? This is part 2 of Visual Studio Says 10 Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a button in one form to open up another form and that in that second form make another button to end both uh, forms or you can put maybe a web page or in it. So what we can do is make a new project. Make a Windows form based application. We're going to name this YouTube. And once we've done that, we need to go ahead and add a button. And once we got once we got our button, we don't need two buttons, we just need one button. Once we got our button, we can just put this anywhere we want. We can rename the button if we wanted to. You know, I go ahead and exit out of that. And change this to new page. And now what we need to do is go to project, add a new Windows form. Make sure Windows Form is selected. Click Add. Go back to go to Form Two. Make a new button, and make this button. And this is so we can uh, click End. Now, you, if you don't want to, want to do this part, if you don't want this button to end both applications, you can just go ahead and leave it blank and don't put any buttons in it. And all I have to do is exit out of it. I'll show you that at the end. And when you go back to form one, go to the button we, we named new page. Go ahead and click that. And when you type in show or form two dot show. And once we've done that, we can exit out of this exit and make sure there's no spaces. And we need to save it and we can run it. Now once we run it, we see we have our first page, your, your application, we can click new page, and you can see it pops up with another button, and if we click this, nothing happens, because we didn't code that button yet. So we're just going to exit out of this, exit out of this, and we're going to go to our second button, you see right here it says end, we're going to double click this, and it's going to open up the form 2 uh, coding, and we're gonna, just going to type in end. Click enter and backspace out of that and once we've done that we can save it and we can build this and if it's built successful we can run it. Now once we've done that we can go ahead and click new page and we click new page and we click this end button it's going to kill both pages. Now if you don't want that to happen we're going to go ahead and exit out of these two we're going to go to the button that says end we're going to double click that and we're going to edit this code out just delete this code completely and we're going to save that now once we've done that what you need to do now is actually delete that button so now once we deleted that button we can go ahead and save that again and go ahead and build and build YouTube we can click the start debugging it will open up this again and click new form or new page and it's it done that now let's say if you want to add a web page you can do that also when you go to form 2 you can see right here and when you make this a lot bigger now let's say if you want this button we'll go back to the first page we want this button to be like a twitter button uh, we can actually go ahead and exit out of that and we need like rename this and we can type in my twitter and we can go in here and say if you wanted to open up a web page you can do that also uh, we're just going to go into web, web browser, add that in there, add the URL, www.twitter.com, and we can save it, build, build YouTube, build successful, run it, and click my Twitter, and you can see right here, it opens up with Twitter. So that's basically it. So that's how you make a button to open up another form and you can make that other button in that second form either a cancel button or you can put whatever you want in there. You can put like a donation tab in there or something like that. That's it. If you like this store, please click subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.